Hi, I'm Walter Newman. I'm down here at Anglers All. I'm a fly designer for Umco Feather Merchants. Um, I'm going to be tying up my signature pattern called the Micro Matcher. It should be available to you by the time you see this video. So we're going to start. Got a size a TMCO 101 in the hook. This one's in a size 22. We're going to start with our UTC 70 in purple about halfway down the shank of the hook. Now when you cut this tag end off your thread, you're going to want to save it. We're going to use that here in a minute. So once we got that somewhere where we can grab it, you're going to take three micro fibets in a light blue dun color. Make sure I got three. We're just going to use a quick pin trap to secure those to the top of the hook and we're going to hold those and tie them straight back so they're sitting nice on the top. Going to do one wrap underneath to get those perched up a little bit, one wrap right in front. Then you're going to use your fingers, kind of get those splayed into three different directions. Kind of like your RS2, we're just adding an extra tail. And then we're gonna take that tag end of thread we saved earlier. We're gonna push that right in between the gap of the hook. And we're gonna actually use this to split our thread, to split our tails. So we're gonna wrap one section of thread kind of through in between the one closest to me and the middle tail. We're gonna use the other piece of thread and go through this section. We're gonna tie that off. So when you're done, you're doing one through here, one through here. We're gonna pull those tight. That's gonna give you a nice even split. And you're just gonna do one wrap right over the top, two wraps, and then that'll get your tail split nice and even. You can use the tips of the tails if you want. I usually don't. I'm a big fan of, uh, I like trigger points on flies, and I think when these tails stand out a lot, it's a good trigger point for the fish to eat. So now we're gonna take our extra small piece of silver UTC wire. We're gonna tie that in on the side of the hook closest to me. This is where it looks like it starts to get messy, but we're gonna clean it up here in a sec. We're gonna do some wraps backwards just so that we can start that wire right on the back of this hook. And we're gonna keep tying forward. Once we get to the front, we can turn that off, get our mess out of there. Now I'm just gonna give my bobbin a little spin to the left, get that cord unwinded, and we're gonna clean up the body a little bit. You don't have to be too meticulous on your taper. We're gonna throw some UV resin on here and you can get a lot of good taper just from using that resin. All right, now we're gonna take our extra small wire and we're just gonna counter wrap that up the length of the body. Helicopter that wire off. Now we're going to grab a piece of thin skin. This is going to be our wing case. I 
I like to tie this in a little bit back off the eye of the hook. This fly is pretty easy to crowd that eye, especially if you're not tying it with the bead. And I'm gonna fold that over just a little bit, check my proportions, make sure I like them. I usually like about 60-40. Just gonna wrap that thin skin down a little bit. When you're wrapping in that thin skin, it's easier to start it almost on the hook closest to you. And that way when you tie it on, just kind of roll it over and it should rest kind of right on top there. So once we like our proportions, which I do, I'm gonna give my, my thread a little spin here, cord up my thread a little bit, which makes tying in these legs a little bit easier. So for the legs, what we're using is a Senyo Shaggy Dub, and we're just picking out the longest, straightest individual pieces you can find. And that's what we're gonna to use to actually tie in these legs. So what I did there is I just wrapped it both sides of the thread and just brought it up onto the top. And then I just kind of make sure it's sitting in the spot that I like. We're gonna get a little X wrap in there. Make sure we like where it's sitting. And we're gonna go forward. We're gonna do three sets of legs. Same process in the middle. Get an X wrap in here. It's probably all hands right now. You don't have to be too perfect on the spacing with the legs yet. We can kind of come through and address that with the dubbing and make sure they're sitting in the exact spot that we want them here in a second. It is a pretty fine material. It can, it can be a little difficult on you, so. Just keep working with it, keep practicing with it. You'll figure out some tricks here and there that'll help you get a little bit more consistent when you're tying in these little, little legs. We're gonna wrap forward. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of quick, just a quick trim right in the middle, just to get some of that excess out of there. Makes it a little bit easier to work with. We're gonna grab our last leg. Then we're going to wrap back to the beginning of our thorax. We're going to grab some super fine gray dry fly dubbing. We're going to dub a really, really thin noodle on our thread here. Trim this up. Then we can use this dubbing to separate our legs a little bit more if we want to. Also give us a little bit of bulk up here. Help work on that natural taper that these bugs usually have. With dubbing, less is more, so don't be afraid to go back and get some more at the end. Get a little bit more if you need it. I'm gonna use a little bit more. The reason I really like these legs is one of the first patterns I really 
used when I was getting into fly fishing was a patch rubber legs and usually had an RS2 dropped underneath. And I kind of had convinced myself that every fly has something special about it that makes it fish well. And so I kind of wanted to take my two favorite parts of the first flies I really fished with a lot and see if I could somehow incorporate them into my own little bug. And so I used these legs, kind of came from the idea of a patch rubber legs. And also I think they can add a little bit of movement, but I think it catches a lot of water and that helps the fly kind of flutter and kind of look like a mayfly that got picked up by the current and is struggling all around. So what I did there is I just folded the thin skin up over the top of the thorax. And just went right behind the eye here. I like to pull a little bit on the front, make sure my thin skin is flat on the top. Then I'll usually hold the legs back. I'll do one, two, three pretty tight wraps. And then we're just gonna go straight into our whip finish. Usually just a two, three turn whip is good with this one. We're gonna throw some UV resin on there. I like to use a razor blade to cut my thread off. Keep it as tight as I can. Make sure we didn't cover the eyelet. We didn't this time. Now we're gonna pull that thin skin up just give it a little bit of stretch and we're almost just going to slide that razor blade right through there and try and get that off as close as we can. We missed a little bit there, but that's all right. All right, now just come through with the black Sharpie. I'm going to color the top of this wing case black really like the contrast from that Let's do a quick trim so i like to trim my legs about half to three quarters the length of the overall body and i'll just pinch them together and cut them make sure they're all even and then I'll trim my tail. If I'm not using the tips, I'll trim it to about the length of the body of the fly. I really like my tails to be a little bit long. It really helps stand out. Then we're gonna grab our UV resin and no light. Oh, it's right here. I got it. Thank you. So I like to start my UV resin. I'll start it on the back of the fly once I get some of these bubbles out. I'll start it on the back of the fly and I like to drag it forward. And that kind of helps give you a nice clean, even taper, nice little bubbled up thorax. I always check it to make sure I like it. It's not running anywhere I don't want it to. And then I'll hit it with my light. And that's it. That's your purple micro matcher. One of my favorite flies here in Colorado, especially on the South Platte. Saved a lot of days for me down here. All right, thanks for watching me tie up my new bug. Um, if you like the channel, like the videos, go ahead and subscribe to Anglers All. Leave a comment down below, throw a like, subscribe, whatever you want. And thanks for watching.